Hello everyone, this is Charles Wong We're back again with another cigar pairing and today we have a really nice pairing. I know I say that every time because it really is. They're nice almost every time. Almost every time. I, I got some that are, eh. But this one, I promise you, is an absolute win. 100% you're going to love it. Starting out, we have the Steel Spirit is the Martel Cordon Bleu. One of the pound for pound best cognacs, period. Just pound for pound, one of the best cognacs, period. And the cigar is the Asian Room F55. This is going to be a great pairing. I'll get back to you once the cigar heats up a little bit and we're well into the first third. All right, everyone, we're back. We're back in the first third. First thing I want to let you know is some cigars take some time to heat up and the flavor needs to really come about. Sometimes you don't even really feel it or get that good flavor till you hit the second third. Not the case with this cigar. Not at all. This Aging Room F55 is great from the very first light. It is outstanding outstanding a lot of my reviews they take some time to develop and that's okay it's, it's about taking time excuse all the, the animals out here it takes some time not this one all right let's get into the cigar and get into this cognac um the first thing i want to get on is this cognac this cognac is like no it, i tell you it's like no other i've had Quite a few cognac and quite a few just quite a few distilled spirits and nothing compares to this 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 is exactly what you want to have in a distilled spirit not just in a cognac this is an awesome cognac i say again pound for pound this cognac is the best cognac you could have really i promise you this is what a cognac should taste like when it has been treated properly martel you do you did it well on this one now, this is kind of expensive, $150 a bottle, so I can afford what I can afford. I'm not a rich man, so I won't be buying many of these, but this is a wonderful cognac. What flavors are we coming, what, what flavors are coming from this cognac? Basic cognac, you're going to have a, a deep, rich, earthy, raisin, dried fruit flavor coming through. That's coming through here. And cognac are a little bit sweet. Also what's coming through is at the, at the end, a wine, a red wine type, tannic type flavor. And it is absolutely perfect. It just goes really well with anything you're, you're uh, having. And it's just as smooth. You could have this by itself and have a great time, have a wonderful experience. Now, for well, this F55, Aging Room F55, this is one of my favorite profiles. Now, if your profile is different than mine, you may not call it your favorite, but this profile is my favorite. It is that deep, rich cocoa coffee uh, flavor, and it's smooth. It is absolutely smooth. It's a, a creaminess to it. Uh, that is so hard to explain, but it's an absolute creaminess to it. And sometimes you have that creaminess in a lighter body cigars, or you have that creaminess in Cuban cigars. And this, this is not trying to be a Cuban cigar. Don't don't get that either. This is its own cigar, and man, it's already. It's, I'm gonna tell you right now. You can stop the video if you want to. You can go on to the next video. Right already, right now, this is a perfect pairing. I'm in the first third and it's a perfect pairing already. All right guys, I'm gonna smoke this down a little bit more and I'll see you in the second third. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back in the second third. This, again, like I said, it's all, in the first third, it was already a perfect pairing. It's a perfect pairing. Not much I can say, but if you try this, 
you will be loyal to me forever. I guarantee you, putting this Martel Cordon Blue with this F55, you're going to be watching all my videos after that. I guarantee you, this is a phenomenal uh, combination. Why does this combination work? This combination works because of what I've explained in my um, pairing teaching videos, my, my class videos on how to pair. This is a classic pairing of a chocolate type, coffee type, cigar with a cognac, which cognacs give a, like a raisin type flavor. And the chocolate and raisins make a, a, a item that's already present. The uh, hot chocolate and raisins is raisinettes. They're raisinettes, but in my Having raisinettes right now, not really. I'm not really experiencing a raisinette flavor. It's just two flavors that naturally go together well and they're doing it perfectly, absolutely perfectly. A question you might ask, hey, uh, Charles, can this combination or can one of these go with another cigar? Or can the cigar go with another uh, distilled spirit and still be a great combination? I believe so, but I wouldn't veer too far away from a cognac for the for the uh, cigar or a good cognac. It has to be a good cognac, all right? They, these two are carrying each other. They're working together. They're not just pairing well. They're they're complementing each other. They're bringing out flavors that you wouldn't necessarily have because of the smoothness in the cigar. That's that's somewhat fading in the second and third. I have to say that the smoothness of the creaminess. The, the cigar is still smooth, but the creamy, uh, the creaminess that this cigar, because creamy isn't really a flavor, but you just have to have it. You're like, oh yeah, that is creamy. It is still making this, uh, this, this cognac better, but, at the, but the cognac comes in and helps out with the cigar. Yeah. It's a perfect pairing. As I said, it's, I'm not experiencing so much of a creamy flavor. I'm getting more of a nutty flavor coming through, a nutty, woody coming flavor. A <laughs> nutty, woody uh, flavor coming through. More of an oaky type flavor. Maybe more of walnut. That's what I'm getting. Again, it's nothing but compliments coming through both of these. What I'm gonna start adding to these, these uh, pairings is a, a, the number rating, one to 100. None of these ratings I will have will be less than 80. I just won't do it. I'll just throw it out, which I've done before. You, I've done quite a few that I'm like, this is not working. This one I actually had done before and I had uh, production problems. So I already knew this was gonna be good, but it seems like it's better the third time I'm doing this. Yes, I've been doing, I've done this three times already and it seems like it's better than the last. That's how good this pairing is. So this pairing is going to get a perfect 100 score. A 100 out of, uh, uh, of 100. This pairing will be judged, will be the standard for all pairings. Is this pairing the F55 Martel Cordon Blue pairing? That's the question you're going to ask from now on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the pairing. I don't usually go into the third, the, the third, third or the last third of the cigar because either you're gonna have a perfect pairing by the first or second third or not. It's just, it, it's either it's gonna get better or it's just gonna calm down a little bit. This one, I'm pretty sure is gonna just get a little bit better. So that's why I don't go into uh, the last third. And I don't go into construction and everything else. I leave those up to other other YouTubers. I, I uh, look at and uh, get some of my inspiration and actually learn from the other guys, such as uh, Cigar of Obsession, such as Pure Maduro. He's one of the other people who, other YouTubers who, who does the cigar pairings or the, uh, yeah, the cigar pairings with different spirits. And also Cigar Vixen. Cigar Vixen goes in, uh, does a good, complete review of the cigar, and she hasn't sent me in the wrong direction yet. I'm, I'm really happy with what she has brought to the table also. So please check out Cigar Obsession, Pure Maduro, and Cigar Vixen. 
all right everyone i hope you like this video if you if you really enjoyed it please hit the like button if you're interested in seeing more videos don't forget to subscribe and i always always ask the question at the end if you're not familiar i'm changing that up i'm going with something different every time and today i have to say it's some sad, sad things that happen in this world like the death of your dog but the next saddest thing unfortunately is a fat girl with little boobs. I'm Charles Walker.